Fisheries and Ocean Minister Bernadette Jordan says the work to define a, quote, moderate living is underway, but federal officials and indigenous communities need space and peace to work towards establishing a shared definition. For more on this and other political news, I am joined by the Globe and Mail's Laura Stone. Laura, what is the biggest hurdle the government is facing in formally defining moderate living? Ben, that's a great question, and I think if the government knew that, they would have defined it by now. We've really seen this escalating situation in Nova Scotia between the commercial uh, fishermen and the Mi'kmaq um, over, over this debate over moderate living for fishing. We know the Mi'kmaq are allowed to set a limited number of lobster traps, and there has been violent standoffs uh, in that province for the past several days. The House of Commons held an emergency debate on this issue last night, Ben. The Prime Minister spoke at this. Um, his ministers and others have widely condemned the violence and the racism they say that they are seeing in Nova Scotia. But we also know uh, that the government is facing a lot of heat from the opposition for not dealing with this earlier and letting it escalate to this point. The Liberals have called in uh, additional police reinforcements to the province. Uh, and they say that talks with both the com commercial fishermen, the Mi'kmaq, and the provincial Nova Scotia government are ongoing. But when this ends and how it ends, I don't think anyone knows yet. All right. Well, to uh, paraphrase Brokeback Mountain, the Conservatives just can't seem to quit the We Charity scandal. Uh, <laughs> they've got their first opposition day of the session today. The party is proposing a new parliamentary anti-corruption committee to tackle corruption and conflicts of interest. But the Liberals say it could have confidence implications. Could Canadians be heading to the polls over this? Never has a discussion about a parliamentary committee, Ben, been so exciting. <laughs> um, look, uh, I, I don't think that we're heading towards an election, but it will be interesting to see how this standoff plays out. You have to remember that both the Conservatives and the Liberals need the support of another party to get whatever they are proposing done. Uh, so the, the Conservatives want to strike this anti-corruption committee um, to look at the WE Charity, but also other contracts and other relationships that the Liberal government have with quote-unquote Liberal insiders. Um, the Liberals aren't opposed to an, uh, striking a committee to look at pandemic spending, but they want to stack that with Liberal members, I think we're going to meet somewhere in the middle here, and it's going to be up to the NDP and the Bloc Québécois to figure that out. Uh, will it be called an anti-corruption committee? Will it be called a pandemic spending committee? And I think most importantly, Ben, will it feature mostly opposition members because we are in a minority government situation right now? So there's going to be a lot of heated debate over this issue. There's going to be a vote on this Conservative uh, motion later this week in the Commons, and will it become a confidence motion? That's anyone's <laughs> guess, but do, do Canadians really want to go to the polls over the creation of a parliamentary committee? I don't think so. Yeah, you're right. It, it shouldn't be exciting, but it sure is. Laura Stone, thank you so much. <laughs> we appreciate your time today. Thanks, Ben. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.